Hello everyone, this is Russ Niles reporting for AvWeb and welcome to Moose Jaw, Saskatchewan, commercial and transportation hub of the Canadian province and the center of the universe for young Canadian forces officers trying to make the grade as military pilots. We're going to speak with 15 wing flight instructor Captain Zach Charbonneau about the course, the equipment, and take a hop in the Harvard 2 trainer, the Canadian version of the Texan 2 used by U.S. military. I'm currently standing in front of the CT-156 Harvard 2, it's a Canadian trainer used in Moose Jaw to train all Canadian Forces pilots. Uh, the course that we do is divided into four phases and one familiarization flight, namely being clear hood, instrument flying, navigation and formation flying. And the familiarization flight is just a one night flight. In the clear hood the aircraft is fully aerobatic and we use it to its full capabilities up to 7 G's and 316 knots, usually cruising around 220 knots. The students will learn how to land and take off with this airplane, do some basic pattern work. Once we move on to aerobatics, we do basic aerobatics like loops, um, clover leaves, Cuban eights, and move on to more advanced stuff like vertical rolls and vertical eights. Uh, the airplane will pull up to 7 G's, which allows us to move. Uh, to accomplish all these maneuvers very easily. And the airplane is very forgiving. It even allows us to fly upside down for about 30 seconds. For the instrument phase, it's fully kitted for instrument flight. Uh, we can move into all major airports and the students do their basic instrument flying up to advanced instrument flying on this airplane before moving off to different airplanes. It's fun to fly. Uh, it's very, very forgiving. It allows the students to do a lot of mistakes and allows us to catch them before it's too late. Um, as for configuration, it's very easy to fly. Okay, it's laid out very logically. It allows the students to learn very quickly and when they move on to other aircraft, the layout usually transfers very simply. So it's a short turnaround to get onto a different. Uh, some major features is a PT-6 engine used in quite a few aircraft throughout uh, the forces. Uh, very reliable. We haven't had any engine problems so far. Uh, the canopy has uh, a C4 type explosive uh, which is named MDC. It's lined uh, in a specific pattern over both cockpits. It'll be activated uh, in one of three ways. Either manual activated by the pilot uh, from the inside to get out if he so chooses on the ground and it can be activated from the outside from a fireman if the pilot can't activate it from the inside. And thirdly, it can be also activated if the ejection seat is fired. It'll fire the canopy and then the seat will go through. After graduation from primary flight training, some of the new pilots stay in Moose Jaw for primary jet training while others head to Portage La Prairie, Manitoba to train for multi-engine or helicopter postings. This has been Russ Niles reporting for AvWeb from Moose Jaw, Saskatchewan. Thanks for watching.